I'm James DeYoung, and I've lived in Damascus over 40 years. Several months ago, I declared for city council with the hope of bringing a new beginning to our beloved city. I thought that the pursuit of political leadership was a noble calling and would be pursued by all in an honorable way. Alas, this ideal has run aground. In the 1800s, Alexis de Tocqueville came to America to, to discover what was the secret of America's greatness. He concluded, America is great because she is good. If, if she ever ceases to be good, she will cease to be great. Similarly, our city stands at a crossroads to choose two very different paths. The path of the mayor and his POW team is anchored in the past of discord and division. To get reelected, the mayor disregards sign ordinances and boasts that no jurisdiction cited him two years ago. And alas, none has done so this time. He deflects attention from his family by slandering our honorable city manager and politicizing this office as never before in the history of Damascus. He instructed his POW teammate to trespass and steal my signs with no authority to do so, and then contrived to find me at fault for filing a report with the Sheriff's Department. This group create boogeymen out of Metro, Light Rail, and a secret meeting that never existed they engage in frivolous lawsuits and yellow journalism. They have received outside funding approaching $50,000, and that amounts to $5 for every man, woman, and child in Damascus. Proportionately, on a national level, this equals $1.5 billion, more than President Obama is spending for re-election, or five times more than a Portland City Commissioner's race. We should all be concerned about these actions. Edmund Burke well said, the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good people to do nothing. Note what the other side will be saying tonight. But the other path leads forward. I've discovered that the vast majority of people in Damascus are fine people who want to do something good. They want good government, secure homes, and businesses. They want a positive future for Damascus within the urban growth boundary where people are proud to live, where outsiders express envy about our community and wish they lived here. In our vision for the future of Damascus, there are wonderful ideas for a bright future. The Committee for the Future of Damascus is to be commended for its plans at the Vogel Road site. The POW group loves to cite the Constitution or Abraham Lincoln. I suspect that I know more about these matters than all of them put together. I've recently published a book about government and our founding fathers. Proverbs 28, 28 says, when the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding, but when the wicked disappear, the righteous thrive. I hope to see the latter come. Thank you. What an arrogant, egotistical maniac. <laughs> 